Hey Libra, welcome to your 2018 Taroscope reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Welcome back. Nice to see you and a warm welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for tuning in here today. So this is a 12 card spread uh, for your up and coming year for 2018, looking at it by month. So there's 12 cards, each card representing um, each month of the year, uh, followed with uh, an overall clarifier and a love card. Um, this is a great spread to kind of see what the theme is coming up for you for 2018, uh, what you might want to work on or have a heads up about as well so you can plan your um, your life accordingly, I guess. But make sure you tune into my monthlies as well because that dives into what's going on that month as well. And I will be rolling out love readings um, instead of my mid-month traditional general readings, I'm going to replace those with love readings. So I'm really kind of excited to roll that out for the new year new year as well. But enough chit-chat. Let's jump right in. So at the bottom of the deck and the overall energy moving into 2018 for you, Libra, is the Temperance card. So this is a very beautiful spiritual energy to have kind of overlooking you for the year. It's it's really quite nice. Um, this is about balancing your life and it's a very spiritual card as well. It represents sometimes divine timing, uh, being patient, balancing your life as far as male, female, you know, the yin and yang. Um, and it's also a very healing energy as well. So some of you might be looking to make some changes in your life that heal you, okay, heal your old emotions or heal your past, okay, so know that you're being guided with this energy. This card also represents Archangel Michael, so he's going to be with you very strongly for 18. Um, anything that you want to release or no longer serves you, you can call on him through prayer and or meditation to cut the cords of the things in your life that no longer serve you. All right, it's a very, very, very powerful card. Uh, do not rush or force any situation in your life for 2018 because um, there's a lot of balance and divine inspiration coming in here for you too. And I feel on a strong creative level as well because you did receive the Four of Wands as your overall energy, or Four of Fire, same thing. Uh, the Four of Fire is about a new creative phase coming into your life um, with a lot of great celebration and pleasure and harmony in relationships. So, friends, lovers, and look at your love card. Okay, let your friends help you. So I'm really excited for you, Libra. This looks like it's going to be a lovely year for you. Um, let's start out of the gate here with January. Uh, you received the Two of Wands. I apologize. My daughter is texting me. <laughs> if you hear that bell, I don't know if you hear the bell in the recording. I apologize. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, Two of Wands. Let's focus here. You know, that creative fire energy, like I mentioned, this is about, you know, I think you're going to come out of the gate strong in 2018, looking to maybe, you know, stay focused on your future. You know, you have the ball in your hand and you're kind of looking out, uh, thinking, okay, what do I want for 2018 in my life? I want to move down a new path. I want to make some new plans. So which way do I go? What do I do? Okay. In in some way, you've kind of planned on this. So I feel like right now, Libra, you're kind of wrapping up the year and getting into this mindset, which is a great place to be, you know, looking at your goals and aspirations. I usually start in November as well, start scratching off what I didn't do on the list and move it to the following year, um, thinking about, wow, what did I accomplish this year and trying to be, you know, proud of myself as well, because we're always, you know, striving to get this done, that done, this done. And then all of a sudden you realize, oh, wow, I didn't do half the things I wanted to do. But hey, you know what? This came in and I got this done. I didn't expect to do that. So life is just a big ball 
of of which way we're going to go today. But I guess the point here that I'm trying to say is, I, I digressed a little bit, is, you know, this is just a wonderful energy to start out in January. And I'm really, really happy for you guys. You're in, your, your mindset's in, in the right place. And if it's not, it should be. So this energy coming in only is going to make your experience stronger if you're in this mindset, okay? Um, along comes February, and we have the Six of Pentacles. So... You know, this is just a wonderful energy to have. Um, this speaks to uh, uh, about a time in your life where it's your turn, okay? It's your time to get what you deserve. You know, maybe you feel some of you have been giving and giving and giving, and when is it going to be my time to receive? So it's a very uh, generous, it, it, the card depicts generosity. Uh, you can see uh, this gentleman is like, giving coins to the children, you know, the card can go either way, maybe you're giving, maybe you're in a position to give, um, and it could also be about you receiving, but what I love about this card is the justice scales here, and that what it says is that it's your time, okay, to have the justice for what you need to move forward, you know, like when we're waiting and waiting, it's like, when is it going to be my turn, oh my god, you know, I have good karma, I give, I do this. When is it going to be my turn? Well, gosh, you know, February, you're going to see a lot of movement moving forward. Uh, maybe some of you, let's see, how could this pertain to your daily life? Maybe some of you will get um, a loan or maybe you'll pick up some new customers. If you're, you know, a working Libra, who isn't, right? Uh, but I guess the bottom line is it's about money and the increase of money um, you know, this could be new clients in your business, like I said, a promotion and a job maybe. So money is increasing and that's a really, really, um, nice, nice way to start out the year here in February. It's really great. Um, also if you feel like this is not moving in your direction, you can ask the universe for money. Okay. Don't forget you have temperance here. You don't want to force a situation, but you can ask. Okay, that would be my mantra all year. Where's my money? Where's my money? <laughs> I need money. I need, you know what I mean? I'm being silly, but you get the point. Okay, so you're in a strong place to receive. So go for it. Okay, March. All right, what are you fearful about? So in March, it looks like you might be dealing with some struggles with stress and worry. Um, the Swords card, you know, that's that mental energy where you're just in your head, you know, you're, you're overthinking, <clears throat> you're um, worrying, and actually it's, it's very unnecessary. Um, so you don't want to be too much in your head, you're fearing the worst. You know, this can really hinder you to a larger capacity than you realize if you can't kind of get out of this mindset, you know, um, if you allow it. So there is a way out and it's viewing your success, staying strong, tapping into the energy, the temperance here and know that divine timing is playing a role in your life this year, okay, for 2018. Super, super important that you guys don't beat yourself up, that you don't make yourself sick over worry. Get out of this space. Your hands are free. You, even though you look like you're tied up and whatever, you can get out of this very quickly, okay? There's a solution to this energy. So rip these bond, these cords off that bind you and that blindfold and stay strong, okay? Because you have many, many angels working with you for 2018. Some great energy. Time for celebration. Harmony. Relief. Ask your friends, okay? When you're in this space and you have friends that you love that are there for you, that you really trust, hey, reach out to them. Hey, I'm in a bad place, you know, help me, you know, help me walk through this, okay? Um, and look at you. So by April, you have the Four of Wands, and here it is again. So you have it twice. So this is your overall theme. You're going to find your footing, okay? So in April, you're going to be kind of coming out of this Eight of Swords uh, torment, right, so to speak, and celebrating, Okay. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is about a new creative phase entering your life, um, celebrations, 
The Four of Wands also indicates, uh, let's see, this could do with the family. Um, maybe somebody's getting married. Maybe some of you are getting married. Um, it's just an all-around all beautiful celebration card. It's about change. It's about action. Uh, making the most of your situation. Okay, taking advantage of um, some of this wonderful, what I call the happy surprise card coming in here for you. This energy is about foundation and family, security, um, money. Okay, the Six of Swords, I feel like the money is going to be coming in for you because this is about abundance. Some of you could be moving a ho uh, moving home. Um, and it's like the happy home card. Right? You can see there. You know, we did it, right? We moved. Here's our new home. And um, so it's about abundance. Looking about how far you've come. And kudos to you. you we do need to stop and celebrate sometimes. We don't, you know. Um, we're so busy forging ahead or have other distractions in life taking away from sometimes the things we need to celebrate and enjoy. Small victories little victories are, are just as important, okay? Um, I really feel, though, this could be about, you know, in relation to, your, to the other cards, your finances. You know, you've reached a great point in your life. Um, so relish in the moment. Tr trials overcome. And, um, you know, enjoy the celebration and your accomplishments. In May, we have the six, uh, I'm sorry, the King of Cups. So this could be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer person entering your life. Um, you could be called on to kind of emulate this energy. This is about listening to your intuition, and he's the master of it. He is a king. This is traditionally a, a more mature uh, type of energy. He knows how to get control over his emotions. He balances that. And he's like the master of balancing intellect and his emotions. So <clears throat> take responsibility for any actions, anything you need to take care of. Because believe it or not, he is a powerful business leader. And um, he loves law and order, order. And he's very, you know, diplomatic and politically correct. So... Let's see how this plays into your rest of your reading here. So I feel like, honestly, for some reason, this is a person maybe coming in to help you with your business, actually. Um, let's see how that plays in. So in June, you have the Seven of Pentacles. And... Let's see, so this is like halfway, almost halfway through the month. You know, maybe some of you have now have a business partner maybe or a boss or maybe something that is making you feel some struggle here. Uh, you know, June is the beginning of the summer. You know, you've planted these seeds, so to speak. This is about waiting for your harvest, the Seven of Pentacles. So you've planted these seeds. Um, and you're tired. He's not sad. He's tired. You can see that he's been working in the field. So honestly, I really feel like um, you just need to hang in there. Okay, because I see your wish card here in August. Still some trials and tribulations here, but, you know, hang in there because... You may have to defend um, and stand up for yourself and go through a few battles here, but you've done the work, right? I think, you know, with the Six of Pentacles right above you, you know, you're doing the right thing with your money or you're waiting to see. Um, that's what's kind of, I wouldn't say scary about this card, but, you know, it's like making an investment, right? You're waiting for the see if that stock goes up or down, you know? <clears throat> so there could be some strife and struggle in kind of waiting to see where, you know, this is all going to pan out in June. And you will be defending, <clears throat> standing up for um, kind of what you 
have done to this date, if that makes sense. So hang in there because this is the, the last hurdle. You've done the work. You may feel tired and drained. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't give up. You know, you can see he's kind of beat up here a little bit, you know, but he's got all these rods behind him that he's accumulated and worked so hard for. Um, sometimes this could be a delay, like you need to step back and wait for the answer. And considering how the Seven of Pentacles is there in June, you're just going to have to hang in there. You're going to have to kind of go through these months to, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, to persevere, okay? Um, because again, this is there could be a delay about the seeds you've planted in June, and you're just waiting kind of to find out um, when is this illumination? How when am I going to be um, be able to move forward once and for all here? Okay, so this is maybe just a slowdown period, and you know it is for the whole month, and I get that that might be difficult, but make sure you tune into my monthlies because I'll go into the energy specifically for that month. Okay, and astrologically speaking, uh, we need to see where the planets are aligning as well. You know, we might be moving along here very well, and you'd be surprised how an astrological aspect can really, you know, put you in a tailspin here as well. So I am offering actually free transit reports um, for the entire year on your personal birth information, of course, um, if you purchase a reading. So... It's a great value, uh, something to think about if you want to look ahead as well here. Libra, what else? We Oh, look at you in August is your wish. Oh, nice. You know, you're going to get your wish. You know, every, I think every reading I've done so far, the Nine of Cups has been in the overviews. And I love that because everybody deserves their wishes to come true in life. I mean, I feel like the fairy godmother when I'm able to kind of deliver that message because isn't that what life is all about? You know, the give and take and and um, like the generosity you have here in your card and making plans and being able to celebrate our accomplishments and, you know, be thrown a bone every once in a while. Like, here's your wish card. You're like a genie, genie in a bottle, you know. Um, so ultimate wish card here coming true for you, feeling emotionally abundant, something that's, you know, making you very happy for each one of you. It's going to be a little different depending on where you're at, where you're at in your life phase. But, um, this is you getting more of what you want, you know, feeling fulfilled. Okay. So kudos to you. All right, Libra, I love that. Uh, the other card, the other meaning here, just, you know, keep an eye on your health. Don't overindulge. Don't overeat. Don't overdo anything. Everything in moderation is the key to health and success in your life. So that's the other meaning with this card. Um, and we'd have to see what's going on astrologically for you during this time as well. You may be challenged here with some, um, you know, balance and checks on your health. Okay, September. All right, some more battles to come. You've had, yeah, this is your only five, you know, and you you were kind of in a place here. Let's see with the Nine of Wands. You know, defending yourself and <clears throat> dealing with delays, but now you're dealing with petty arguments and stuff like that. It's the Five of Swords. Um you know, I would just be super careful. You don't, you don't want this to be you to the point where, you know, you destroy, um, any kind of relationships or stuff like that, that, um, you know, just for the sake of winning, this is about, you know, again, balance and moderation. We've been talking about that all year. Now, look, we're always going to have challenges, um, that arise in our life for us to deal with, to grow and be stronger people. Um, uh, but you certainly don't want to get caught up in this too much to the point where, you know, um, you don't want to be this victim either over here. This is, this can go either way, but I feel like honestly, Libra, this, you know, this could be you maybe, you know, and sometimes we have to stand up for ourselves like with the nine of wands, but this is conflict energy. So just pick your battles. Okay. Um, yes, it could be some internal battles as well here with this meaning, uh, but it can be kind of tricky, this energy and gossipy and, you know, you know, you just want to bypass drama. 
you know, someone could be being unfair to you. So stand your ground, uh, but in a balanced way, okay, with moderation and not forcing or pushing a situation. Because remember, this is your overall energy. So you, I feel like you might be tested here in September for some reason. Um, you know, don't do whatever you need to do to win and force a situation for uh, any negative or selfish reasons. Okay, and watch your communication as well. That's the other message with the Five of Swords. You know, because this energy can be very cutting, and you know, you're an air sign, you know, so uh, you get that. You're very quick on your feet. Uh, you got the gift of gab, um, and if somebody's irritating you, cut them off, boom, just like that, you know. Uh, so just, just food for thought here with that, okay? That's September. Along comes October, and you have the Eight of Wands. You have a mix of cards here. I would say more, no, nah, I thought maybe you had more Wands cards, the fire energy, but it's really a combination of fire and air. Uh, Eight of Wands, wow, what a great card. So in October, you're going to be getting some unexpected news. Um, and this, this is going to make you feel like now you can go full steam ahead. Uh, you don't want to hold back uh, anymore. This is kind of like the green light. So information is coming in that propels you forward and quickly. So you may need to make a decision quickly. Uh, but that's okay. De delays, if there have been any delays that, yeah, look, so in the summer you were dealing with, you know, planting those seeds and waiting for your harvest. And this is typical because October is harvest time. So summer you plant your seeds and in October you harvest, you know, you harvest your, uh, you know, tilling the field, so to speak, and harvesting your food for the, for the winter, right? You know, so the, you had some delays and you had some you know, um, last minute maybe hurdles to get over. Well, good for you. You are moving forward in October. This is just fabulous, you know. Very, very nice. This is the go-ahead. Uh, you're going to have the energy and the movement to shift and a flurry of changes coming in. Uh, so this is, this is wonderful news, Libra. Very, very nice reading. Um, November... Okay, well, some endings, you know, this is this is a scary card, but maybe, you know, all this difficulty that you had with, you know, standing up for yourself and dealing with delays and, um, you know, maybe wanting to create this new phase in your life um, as far as a creative new beginning that could be, you know, in business, of course, a side business, um, promotions at work, you know, whatever your in personal endeavor has been. Um, and some of the strifes you've had along the way during the year are going to come to an end. Yes, this is the Ten of Swords, and it is very scary. It looks like you've been stabbed in the back. Maybe some of you were, but I think the overall energy that I'm picking up for you is that um, it's the end of a cycle. Um, all this fighting. Um, and look, whatever it is, is going to take you most of next year, so be patient with yourself, uh, but know that you're going to be able to move forward and really build your relationships, your work, your job, your career, your personal life, your finances. The worst is over. So kind of like you'll know and you'll feel this, okay, that you can get, you know, kind of get up now and brush yourself off and it's time to heal and you got a lot of great stuff coming in. You may be feeling this way in November, but don't forget about all of the success, the success that you have had and the wishes that are coming true for you, okay? Libra, this is just really great. And look at you. You're going to be fine. Look at you in December. You are working it. You're killing it. You're, you know, um, you're reassessing where you are in your business and working hard, staying up late, burning the candle at both ends, so to speak, and doing what you need to do to build your foundation for your future. And there you are. So it may take you most of the year for some of you. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I was just shifting in my chair here to get to this point. But don't be discouraged. I mean, not every, you know, Rome wasn't built in the day. 
isn't this wonderful though just to know that energetically you have this energy to create what you want in your life that's kudos to that it's not like you're dealing with a lot of you know negative stuff here it's very very positive reading so congratulations Libra um, you know focus on that new job um, or the new business you may be working long hours staying up late learning a new craft or skill uh, but you have a goal but now you kind of settling in and you know what you're doing and you have new solutions to old problems and you're mastering new skills and um, it's wonderful you're um, you're in a really really good place so make sure you're putting in the effort if you're not um, you know, sometimes this card means about going deep inside as well. Sometimes it means like, okay, because you're reassessing uh, on some level this new craft or this new skill. You want to make sure that <clears throat> in your heart, this is your purpose. In your heart, this is what you're known to do or meant to do, okay? Don't forget that, okay? I think the balance and moderation and the divine inspiration is here for you, Libra, and it's going to be coming in to assist you all the way through. Um, public re recognition as well for a job well done. Um, so kudos to you. That's just a wonderful, wonderful reading. Um, you have your friends here. You know, obviously ask for help and support from others when needed. You know, so friendship's going to be a big theme for you for 2018. And boy, look at look at this card. Isn't it beautiful? And this is by Colette Baron reed um, I love the illustrations. I forget who her artist is, but this is from the Good Tarot. And I really, really love this deck. It's very, very nice. So, you know, enjoy the harmony in your relationships and all these new phases coming in for you. There's so much to celebrate and enjoy for 2018. What a great year with the temperance here and all the wonderful blessings for you, Libra. So I wish you all the best. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. <clears throat> um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that. would love to have you part of my community. So when I do roll out um, updated videos, you will... Uh, be notified. I think you have to hit that little bell thing, but I'm not even going to go there. It's just too much. Every day there's something different that I learn that I have to, oh, you have to do this and you have to go there. Blah, blah, blah. You know what? Just subscribe to my channel. I'll be grateful to have you. Any comments that you want to make as well are always appreciated. I do read um, every comment that comes through and I'm here for you guys. Okay, so all the best in 2018 and we'll see you soon for the December readings. Okay, take care, Libra. Bye-bye.